The year was A.D. 33, and it was the first day of Passover, which is also called the Festival of Unleavened Bread. Jesus called for his disciples. Peter, John, I want you to go ahead to the city and prepare for the Passover feast. Prepare for the feast? But Master, how will we know where to go? You do not have to worry about that. Go to Jerusalem and you will find a man carrying a water jar. Keep following him till he enters a house. You have to then go to the owner of the house and ask him to take you to a large room upstairs where you'll be able to prepare the meal for the Passover feast. Peter and John did as Jesus instructed them to do. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How can I help you? We are here, as told by Jesus. He asked us to come here and prepare for the Passover meal. Of course, sir. I was waiting for you. All followers of Jesus are always welcome. Thank you, sir. You are so kind. Please, come in. Peter and John did as Jesus instructed them to do. Later in the evening, Jesus also reached the house with the other disciples. Ah, the feast is ready, I see. Come, let us eat. However, Jesus was very sad to see that all his disciples wanted to sit in the best places. He called them all and made them sit down. After removing the outer garment he was wearing, and proceeded to pour water into a bowl. What are you doing, Master? You have all been walking on a dusty road. I'm going to wash your feet. What? Wash my feet? Oh no, Master! I can never let you wash my feet. If you don't let me wash your feet, you do not belong to me. Oh, Master, please do not say that. You know I will do anything you command. But wash my feet? Please, don't put me in such an awkward situation. If you call me Master, you must obey me and let me wash your feet. My Lord, if you must, then wash my hands and head also. You have had your bath, so you are clean. Only your feet need to be washed. Come, sit, and let me do what I have to do. Why is our master doing this? What he is doing is quite beneath him. Shh, don't worry, my friend. I'm sure he has a good reason. Hmm, yes, I know. After washing the feet of all his disciples, Jesus said to them, Do you know why I washed your feet? You call me your master, and yet I washed your feet. This was meant to be a lesson for you all. Those who call themselves my followers must learn to serve and love each other, just as I have loved you. Jesus then looked around the room at all his disciples and said slowly, All of you are clean, except one. His disciples looked at each other, trying to understand what their Lord was saying. We don't understand, Master. Jesus just stood up and looked at his disciples quietly and calmly. He knew that one of them was going to betray him to his enemies very soon. Come, let us eat now. As they were eating, Jesus seemed to be very quiet, so one of his disciples questioned him. You seem to be sad today, Master. Have we done anything that has made you unhappy? 
Jesus knew already that Judas had betrayed him to the high priests for the small amount of 30 pieces of silver, which was the price those days for a slave. However, he did not reveal Judas' name to the other disciples. He loved them deeply and wished to remain with them for longer, but he knew his time to go back to his father and the time to complete his mission was near. You are all good souls, but one among you who is sitting here will betray me. The disciples were very disturbed when they heard this. Each of them wanted to know if it was him, but Jesus did not give a direct answer. I do not know what God has decided for me, but I do know that this man will betray me. When he said this, his disciples were even more confused and distressed. Please, Master, tell us who the traitor is. We will not allow him to go against you. He shall be punished. Jesus again did not reply, but picked up a piece of bread. The Lord will take care of him. He will regret why he was ever born. Do not get agitated now. Let us eat. I thank the Lord for this bread. Jesus then proceeded to calmly break the bread into small pieces. He dipped a small piece into a bowl and handed it to Judas. Judas accepted the morsel of bread, but could not look into Jesus' eyes. Jesus then gave the remaining pieces to the other disciples. Come, eat. These pieces of bread are my body. Then, picking up the wine glass, he told them, Drink of this wine, for it is my blood. I will share this blood so that many sinners will be forgiven. When I am gone, you will remember me. The next time I share wine with you, it shall be new wine in the kingdom of heaven. What are you saying, Master? You cannot leave us. Though I wish to be with you all for longer, I am afraid that will not happen. Oh no, Master, please do not say that. Wherever you go, we shall follow you. You cannot follow me where I am going, but I will come back to take you to the kingdom of our Father. Please, Master, please do not talk of leaving us. Do not trouble your hearts, my dear friends, as it pains me. Just believe in God and believe in me. I will prepare a place for you in the house of our Father and then come to take you. You must have complete faith in me. No, 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 Master, you cannot do this to us. You are our Lord and Master. How can we ever lose faith in you? However, Jesus quietly and calmly started eating, and the others also soon followed, though they were all sad, except for Judas, who had slipped away after Jesus gave him the piece of bread. Judas made a pact with one of the enemies of Jesus. The chief priest had announced a reward of 30 pieces of silver to anyone who would identify Jesus. When they approached Judas, he readily agreed to identify Jesus. Let us go out to the city. All the disciples followed Jesus. After some time, again, Jesus said something that shocked them all. Tonight, you will all lose faith in me. Everyone looked at Jesus in shock. How can you even say such a thing, Master? Please do not include me in this. I will never, ever lose faith in you. Jesus looked at him with a gentle smile. Before the cock crows twice this night, three times, you will have disowned me. Just as Jesus had said, Judas betrayed him, and the faith of his other disciples also wavered. 
And as Jesus had known, the time for him to go back to his father followed soon after.